Hi everyone, my name is Anthony and I handle research and reporting here at Ice Energy. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how we utilize SparkToro to derive actionable insights for our clients, as well as create paid media strategies for them. So the scenario I'm going to be walking you through right now is with our client whose audience is woodworkers in the United States. What we want to do is better understand where they live and what they consume online. From there, we want to understand where our clients' marketing dollars are best spent and what platforms we should be advertising on for them. I started out by looking at a competitor of a client, 41 Lumber. But as I started to, I wondered if there was a better competitor that we could glean insight from. So after doing that, I decided to use Woodworker Source instead, another competitor um, that I was going to want to use for my initial discovery. From there, I first checked the behavior similarity as well as the audience confidence. The higher the confidence and the more homogeneous the behavior similarity is, the better I can trust SparkToro with the data I'm seeing to then utilize for my client. What I'm basically doing now is taking the top 5 to 10 results I'm seeing on each page, um, whether that's social profiles, websites, podcasts, or YouTube, and taking note of them. I'm taking note of them on, on our smart board here. And this helps me personally consume what I'm seeing better. However, SparkToro does have a exporting functionality. So if I want to, and I will do later on, I can pull all this data into a CSV and, I, and then I can compile it, scrub it, and quickly see every piece of data that's important to me. Then I go in and highlight these pieces of information that stick out to me and try to find out the similarities between each medium. So if I see, for instance, that popular woodworking shows up on not just podcast, but also websites and social profiles, I'm making note of that here. After I build out one profile's audience, I'm then going to go out and build a secondary one to make sure I'm gathering as much data on my audience as possible. I decide to use popular woodworking as its social profile as followed by over 70% of the people in the initial woodworker source audience. Once I do that, I immediately check the behavior similarity and audience confirmation confidence to make sure I can reasonably trust what I'm seeing here. After I do that, I replicate my methodology from the first audience, and I'm going in and highlighting some aspects of this audience that are different from the first because that's my entire goal of building out the second audience. After I build out that second audience, I decide that, you know what, maybe I should build a third audience because I really want to make sure that I have all my bases covered for this woodworking audience. This time, I build out an audience based on a profile I've seen frequently in both audiences in the past, Wood Whisperer. This time, I'm only trying to generate ideas that I haven't uncovered yet, so I'm only writing down my new findings. I also forget that I need to make sure that I grab the geographic makeup of each audience, because we're going to use this to fine-tune the geo-targeting of our digital campaigns to make sure that we're wasting as few impressions as possible and converting as many people that see your ads. After that, I'm going to export all of this data I just grabbed, clean it up, and then place it in our company's online storage so that we have it for future reference. Now I'm going to jump back into SparkToro and create a list using the top social profiles, websites, podcasts, and YouTube channels that I found. Then I'm going to export that list out and place it in our storage as well. Additionally, I'll be taking data such as geo and net social networks that are used by our audience and averaging them all together so I can create a better understanding of who our audience really is. Utilizing the information we have now with SparkToro, we can build out several different programmatic campaigns such as keyword contextual targeting, YouTube ads, and more. From looking at all these data points, I determined that we should start off by advertising through Facebook and Instagram. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to build out a campaign on Facebook ads. So next, I'm going to start building out a campaign on Facebook ads. So starting to build that campaign out, I'm utilizing a ton of information from what I gathered in SparkToro. I'm targeting very specific geos within these states that my audience is in. Not only that, but I utilize interest targeting using the information I know about my what my audience likes to engage in, such as Highland Woodworking and Rockler Woodworking, so I can gather as detailed and as fine-tuned of an audience as I can. After I gather all of my creative, I'm going to go ahead and publish the campaign, which we will then track, measure, and optimize to further ensure success for our client. And that's just the start of our strategy. 
I hope you found how we utilize SparkToro today as an agency helpful for your team and are able to create smarter strategies for your clients. Till next time. Bye.